We all want to live out a good story. A story that says, I did something that matters. I did something that made a difference. I helped people. That's the story that I want to write. My story begins as an adventurous kid with big ideas. I wanted to be a professional athlete, but my uncles and grandpas gave me a new idea. They saw gifts in me at the age of 10 or 11 to be a pastor. I still wasn't too sure, but that at the age of 13, the pastor at my home church was teaching confirmation. He showed me the love of Jesus and encouraged me to share that love with others. As for me, my story involved aspirations to be a musician or a teacher. As a kid, I was talkative, but always a good, hardworking student. I've always had a passion for helping others, but was unsure of what career would be the best fit for me. I majored in music in college, but realized that wasn't my true calling. I wondered where my story was leading me. I didn't know how I might use my skills and interests to help people. So I went to seminary. Our seminaries prepare workers for the church. I wanted to help others and their stories. But the thing is, my story is more than just my own because I was made part of a bigger story. That story was written by God who loved you and me so much that he grafted us into his story to make it one for the books. Because of the love of Jesus, my story matters. And yours does too. Who, who wouldn't, wouldn't want, want to live, live that story? That's what I love about what I do as a pastor. I get to know people's stories. As a deaconess, I get to be part of their stories and live my story with them. I get to be there in the beginning when their story is just getting started. I get to rejoice with them in their happiest moments. I get to guide them as they begin to write their own stories. I get to stand with them in their hardest moments and grieve with them when this life story comes to an end. I had help writing my story. So did I. And I have a story to tell.